Hi everybody, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com and today I'd love to share with you a really fun striking and fielding game called Wacky Baseball. Build 1 of this game is runners and relayers and to set up for this build the teacher will set the playing area by creating two concentric circles of bases. The outside bases will be the batting team's bases and the inside bases will be the fielding team's bases. There is one exception here as two bases will be inversed. The inside base, which is still the batting team base, becomes home plate, and the outside base becomes the catcher's base. Now that your playing area is set up, you're ready to divide your class into two teams and select one team to start off as the batting team and the other team to start off as the fielding team. Once the teams are good to go, you're ready to have them set up in the playing area. The batting team players will get into a line behind the catcher's base, and the players on the fielding team will each stand on a fielding team base. The first player on the batting team's line will step onto home plate and the catcher will be given a ball. On the teacher signal, the player on home plate will begin to run counterclockwise around the bases. As soon as they do so, the fielding team attempts to field the ball around each of the fielding team bases in the opposite direction. If the batting team player makes it around the bases before the ball, they score a point for their team and the next player steps up to home plate. In between each turn, the entire fielding team has to find a new base. It's important for the fielding team players to know that they have to have at least one foot on their base before they are allowed to throw the ball to the next player. If the fielding team manages to relay the ball around the bases before the batting team player can get back home, the fielding team scores a point. Once each player on the batting team has had a turn, the two teams switch roles. Build 2 of the game is Wacky Throwdown, and before the players continue to play, the teacher will have to select a few bases that along with the catcher's base, will serve as stop spots. The players then set up as they did before, with the first player from the batting team stepping up to home plate. The player at home picks up the ball and throws it into play. For the ball to be considered in play, it has to land within the playing area, that means inside the circle of bases. As soon as they've thrown the ball, they begin to make their way around the bases. The fielding team will try to stop them by fielding the ball to a player who is standing at a stop spot. Once the fielding team manages to get the ball to a stop spot, the batting team player returns to the last base they touched before stop was called. In between each turn at bat, the fielding team must rotate in clockwise fashion so that each player gets to have an experience at a stop spot. If ever the ball is accidentally thrown out of bounds, the ball is considered foul, it is then returned to the throwing player and any batting players who are on base simply go back to the base they were at before the ball was thrown. If ever a running player winds up overtaking a player who's running in front of them, that's okay because in this game you can have multiple players on the same base at any given time. Play goes on like this with the batting team players attempting to make their way around all of their bases so they can get back home and score a point for their team, while the fielding team is trying to quickly field the ball to a stop spot to prevent the batting team from scoring. Once every player on the batting team has had a turn to throw the ball, the team switch roles. In build 3, we're ready to play the full version of Wacky Baseball. The first thing the teacher has to do is to assign a foul line that runs right down the middle of home plate. The player is set up just as they did before, except this time the player at home plate will be given a striking implement. That's because now they will attempt to strike a pitched ball in order to make their way around the bases. The ball will be pitched to them by the next player in line for the batting team. Once the player successfully strikes the ball, they begin to make their way around the bases until the fielding team manages to get the ball to a stop spot and call stop. Once stop is called, the player returns to the last base that they touched. Players at bat get four chances to attempt to hit the strike ball. If they fail to hit the ball within those four attempts, then they simply put down the bat and automatically make their way to first base. However, once they're at first base, they are locked there. And what that means is that the next time a player goes up to bat and strikes the ball, the player who is locked at the base is not allowed to run. They have to wait one whole turn at that base before they become unlocked. Just as in the previous build, if a batting team player makes it around the bases and home before stop is called, they score a point for their team. Once every player has had a turn at bat, the two teams switch roles. So that's Wacky Baseball, a fun striking fielding game that we've broken down into three builds. If you're looking for more information on this game, such as modifications, related assessment tools, the grade level outcomes it focuses on, or if you just want to share your experience playing it with your students, be sure to check out the game page which is linked in the description below. Once again, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com. Thanks so much for watching and happy teaching.